Raw talk. Nothing. <laughs> How you doing, Vivi? I'm good. I'm good. I started this episode I'm a little l- later right today. I'm, I'm zooming it. Yeah. Yeah. And I looked at it being pregnant and I took like two sips of milk down one and I was like, Dude, oh, I tell yes. I don't care. I need, I need a little bit of sustenance in my life. It was and the thing that sanity. like when you get pregnant and I'm like, coffee, coffee and then randomly sushi. Oh, don't even. I don't want to talk about it. It's too soon. I, and I when miss I got it. the thumbs up from the doctor, I was like, don't. Oh. Did I hear what you said? Oh. Did I hear what you said, right? I can't wait. I have a appointment like tomorrow. The first step we went to. I was like, oh, <laughs> boom. <laughs> I know. I was like, let's go get down. And she's like, no, nah, I'm going to go head over and get my, <laughs> go get my sushi roll. Yes. Oh, so good. Well, today's episode I'm excited about mm-hmm. because like you like to do breathing, meditation, and you know, really the calm of, of feeling good Oh, inside. I like this too. But yeah. Th- I need this too. But this is my hardcore meditation. I know. going and decluttering, me. decluttering, resetting space. Wrote a book about it. Love it. Yeah, but it's- she just doesn't declutter, y'all. She loves cleaning out like hoarders. Hoarders. <sighs> Oh, the best. Explain just, that. I I couldn't I was like I called bullshit on that. No. Now, it's the yeah. best. Dead cats, everything. Um I Ugh. just I love uh, because people have so you know the hard part is when you get in and there's like specific things you have to break down. It's kind of like plateauing with your weight. Mm. You know when you first start losing weight and you have a lot to lose, it's fun cuz it comes off real fast. Yes. So if you go to a hoarder's home, there's papers. There's oh, there's just obvious bro- trash that you could just trash clear. Trash yeah. that you're oh. like instant gratification. 100%. And you're like, yes, get and it out. And then when you get to like the n- nitty gritty stuff. That's when people start really fighting with you. Photos, books, clothes. It gets real. And shoes. you know, and not knocking it, but you got to work with the sentiment of what they feel. Mm. You know, they really feel attached to this and there's trauma it, behind sure. it. Mm-hmm. I get it. However, the tips we're going to give today is more for people that just need to declutter, reset their space. Mm. We've been home. A lot of people have said, you know, from COVID that they, you know, want to get rid of old and put in new, like look at home goods. I was, there's a new home goods near where I live. Yeah. The line was around the block. I was like, what are they giving things away in well, here? I think a lot of nope. people were surprised about the amount of home, um, re, you know, purposing and yeah, decorating. And, yeah. Yeah. Redecoration, refurbishing, all the stuff that was happening. They yeah. didn't expect that. Yeah. yeah. That's why the cost of lumber has like gone through the roof. Oh, has it? Yeah. Makes sense. I was like, huh. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. But before we get into the tip stuff, explain why it's such a joy, your hoarder, your, your like cleaning stuff out. Because people really need it and they're really, really sad and they don't realize it. So yeah, but what it does for you. What it does for me is it makes how it, did you get into it? Like what makes it like, you know Well, my mom is not a hoarder, uh-huh. I would say, of sorts. She would get mad if I said that. Is Everything she's like a level three? Out of what? Out of ten. One to ten. Oh. I'd give my mom a three, four. I love you, mom. She but used she's to be about a six, a, seven. My mom's about a six, seven. <gasps> she's gotten be- no. She's about a five at this point. Good. Since we moved from the house up north, I mean, from the house in Santa Monica, yeah. we moved out. Of, we moved her out of her home after forty years. Vanessa, there was a room that I didn't even know existed that had things from the bottom of the floor to the ceiling, and it's not gross. What, what rear? Exactly. You go up into their bedroom. She has a cl- walk-in closet. Yeah. And then there's a separate room with a key and a door. There was the first Barbie I found in there. I found a bunch of amazing stuff. So she doesn't have crap. Like she doesn't just have like like yes. dirty, gross stuff. She just has a lot of stuff. And that comes from her being poor as a kid. Sure. And like feeling protected. And a lot of hoarders that I deal with, sure. that's the trauma. They feel safe when it wraps around. Now, the dirt and the disgust, like that's for real companies to come in and bring that out first. And um, with the reset plan, we talk about it. But I get to change their minds once they get to see the space. And then I get excited because, as you know, you do a lot of interior design and stuff. Mm-hmm. Then there's a whole image that can go with it. Mm. However, I have to pick who I, I really invest my extra time with because some of them, you know, they're just going to go back to be. Yeah, they have to be ready. They have to be ready. And even if they think they're ready, they end up having tendencies again. It's better. Because, you know, in the progress of of forward motion, you do take steps back. There's yeah, a regression to absolutely. the progression many times. It's like gaining weight, losing weight, yeah. and you like plateau. Yeah, but I, I love it because I get in and it's just like, I, it's like, it's like beautiful mind. I get to see things where I'm like, boop, boop, take that out, put that in. But yeah. when it comes to like spatially stuff, like what you do, I'm not good at like how to hang the curtain. I'm not good at the specific little things, but I'm great at like taking a big pot and knowing what to throw 
out and yeah. the negotiate negotiation. I think I really enjoy the negotiation with the yeah, human too that I pick because yeah. I get to go, let's talk about this. Because if you hold on to a lot of things that are sentimental, mm-hmm. are they always sentimental? I think the less things you have, the more mm-hmm. sentiment they should have with them. You know what I mean? If you have a lot of things, how is it all sentimental? I don't know. Try, I, to, I, try to negotiate that. I have things. I like my things. Yeah. And you know that. Yeah. And like, but your things are cute. Yeah, but I don't. Like, I don't want to get, there's certain things that I have that I will have sentiment with and I don't ever want to get rid of them. And whether it makes sense or not, they're, it's mine. And I, I remember so like up, every client I have. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But, and fair. I used to be a collector. Mm-hmm. Like I, I was a Sanrio kid. Oh. So I had all the pencils and erasers. I get it. And I mean, come on, no one's ever going to go through that many. And th- you don't even want to use them. You just want to have them and see them. And then stationery and da, da, da. I, I had all of that. Did, and, is that when you got home from school? Like you got to pick, go to the mall and get that? Yes. It's good feelings behind yeah. that, right? Um, and I mean, it came at one point, I remember where I started having nieces and things and I'm like, okay, I think I can let go of, of that stuff. That'd be great to hand down. But then you realize your sentiment and your feeling for this stuff is not the same mm. for them. Right. So then I get the pencils and the pens and the station and everything and those little Used it up. Like. just fucking used it up. <laughs> sharp it. That is vintage. It. And I was like, do you understand you can't get that anymore? Right. And I, I was like, oh my God. No, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. Um, but, but I mean, I don't have, like, I wouldn't call myself. My mom is, I would give her like a, th- she's a three, four. And okay. again, at the same time, she has nice things. Right. So I don't think you should just. Like you like get rid of it, move it, get, move it away. I, I'm like, no, you can repurpose, resell, yes, yes. Re- her stuff, do all that yes. stuff. And I believe in making the effort to do that because, because one man's junk's another man's treasure. Yeah, you yeah. had the joy now, pass the joy, like mm-hmm. the whole. And I'll get into it because I did it, the Mary Kondo, Mary Kondo, yeah, yeah, and it was, it was, uh, amazing. And I, I totally dig it. I mean, she's this cute, and a lot of people made fun of it and everything. But if you actually do the system. Mm-hmm. Works. Yeah. I, I got rid of it. at the end of the day, it was like 60 something big bags. Mm-hmm. And there's like wow. a, there's a, you can quantify the junk that you have that you could just toss. Yeah. yeah. I don't agree with the books though. She says 30 books and I, I get it. I don't agree with the books either. But yeah. But then, you know, you can digitize stuff as well. I just, I feel like with people, I. And pictures. I don't agree with pictures, but. Yeah, yeah. no. And yeah. you can digitize pictures, I guess. But, stuff. you know. Yeah, I just think when people have too much stuff and this is what I try to negotiate with them is it holds you down. Your Mm -hmm. shit is not paying your rent, mortgage. It's not paying for things, but it's occupying all the space. Yeah. So, you know, if you feel good about it and you feel like you don't have that closet that every time you walk by there's guilt or shame because – I, I know when it exists. I know when company comes over and I throw things under the bed, I throw, th- I hide things. As long as you can manage that once they leave and all of that in a tight yeah. space, then you're good. You know, just being aware. But it's just people that it's the dirt. It's the, yes, it's the trash. It's not being able to walk to your bed. Yeah, no, that's, it's, it's, that's the it's different major thing trauma altogether. and stuff. Yeah. Because, Okay, so resetting your space. Yes, and that's what we're going to talk about, clutter. In doing what you need to do, right? In order to, like, you have to, they always say, like, you know, fix your house. Uh Uh-huh. So, and by house, yourself. Like, Mm -hmm. you need a clean space to start fresh so that you can write that book. Uh Uh-huh. Or you can write that report. Or you can, you know, um, think clearly. So you don't, you're not looking at all this chaos around you. Yeah. And so you kind of go with that. I know, like you said, when you're stressed or you just need some space or whatever, sometimes I'll just get down on a clean. Me too. And I'll Mm -hmm. start mopping the floor. Yeah. Like lift everything up and then you put things away. And Mm -hmm. and I'm with that. Mm -hmm. Like I'm all about that. And I'm, I am, it's funny when people are late a lot, I hate. That is a pet peeve of yours. Oh, no, that is like the yeah. bane of my existence, yeah. like being late. Purchase yeah. taught us that at our school taught. I hate it. I think it's so disrespectful. I hate it. However, w- sometimes I'll look at people and, and I'll think, what does your house look like? Mm. What do you got going on? Because if you have your key, I put my keys in the right place. Like, Because I've been known to be late, but it's because of choices I've made to not put my keys in a certain place. Sure. I lose my keys or certain circumstances where I'll do anything to make sure my outfits are, I do my laundry, I do everything so that I don't have anxiety filling up my mind and space that morning because it, it it's off, makes me off the whole day. 
Yeah. It does. Yeah. It just throws me off being late, other people's time. You know what I mean? So that's a, that's an added bonus of decluttering, well, I would say. Oh, well, here's something for you, for you since you're a reset pro. Um, I am a new parent. Oh, Lord. I guess. Okay. I know. <laughs> and now I don't have the time I used to have to do the clean or the organization or the put away that I normally used to. And now with a baby, I mean, when people talk about baby takeover, it's so legit. It's so I know, real. I'm ready for I it. Did, Here we go. I mean, I, I thought I knew to expect. No. I mean, there's like a, there's things everywhere. <laughs> and the, you're constantly clean. I've never met somebody so small that creates so much dirt, <laughs> laundry. It's like a mess. terrorist. Like, they just come in and just take over. And they're so sweet. I know. And you're just like. <laughs> But, but that's what, a season, though. That's okay. Oh, it's, girl. Oh. Okay. So, <laughs> oh, how about the one in, one out method? That's okay. what I would say. So I, I would start with the kitchen. If I was a new, when I, when I become a new mom, yes. I will always start with the kitchen because okay. the bedroom laundry is going to pile up all of this stuff. Yes. However, you're going to daily use your kitchen. Yes. Right. So I would say go in there and I would say if there's, if you can look through all of your utensils and things and you have more than three of them ditch one of them or if you haven't used it in a year yes ever yeah donate it yeah you don't need it because i feel like i don't have kids yet but i feel like the more simple the better and there's things that you tend to use over and over again sure. and then there's things you never use at all the fancy little plates all that stuff that's adorable but yes. it's taking up space if you don't have it you know yeah. yes. your little child's not going to be fine yes. dining with you anytime soon no. you know and a lot of the stuff you can get at tj maxx you can buy again you know what i mean right or you know repurpose it or any of that so so I would start there. Another thing, especially being a new mom and just having people in and out of the house, go through your fridge. Mm -hmm. This is a big one. The condiments, like I love my mom so much, but my husband, my brothers and I have this joke where we go in and we're like, okay, here we go. What year you think that's from? <laughs> like whether it's like, <laughs> yeah. whether it's like the Advil to, and it's, it's that can be dangerous, you know, the Advil to the mayonnaise to the whatever we go through that and then make a commitment to yourself that you're going to do that at least once, twice a week that oh, you're yeah. going to look through your stuff and just see if it's fresh. Cause sure. why have extra stuff in the fridge if it's not fresh? I know I agree. And it's perpetual. You're throwing old food away and leftovers yeah. is a three-day rule in my opinion i agree i think so yeah. i think a three because i love myself some leftovers but just make sure you put it towards the front but if and it's a week old and it's starting to grow things it's no. a hazard yeah it's not good and then you're yeah. gonna get sick and you're supposed to That's be an active mom yeah, yeah. and yeah. then um i have so many more tips but my brain's like gone digitizing things yes so cookbooks they're great but do you have cookbooks Yes, oh, is. yeah. <laughs> but how many recipes do you really like? People will be like, well, my mom's favorite line is I'm going to get to that one day. And I'm like, <laughs> and it was it was it was it, it blew my mind going through her house and resetting her house to get it ready to be sold. Yes. The, the shit that I begged her for decades to get rid of. And then we're like the movers are coming in. It's like last minute. And she's like, toss it done. And I'm like, oh. <gasps> Wait, I begged you for years, years and decades. And then all of a sudden you're like, okay, let's toss it. I'm like, why? You know what I mean? And yeah. they staged the house again and it looked like a different place. It I'm was just, sure. it was big. Yeah. It was beautiful and the house isn't big. You know what I mean? But yeah. it looked great. But I would say try to digitize like your kid's art. Things yes, like that. I believe in that. Even in your cookbooks, like take photos of your favorite recipes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so, or make like a little book of it. But why do you need these huge cookbooks of things that you're, you may never but make see, it and you can look it online. Yeah. Okay. Unless but, it means a lot to you. Unless well, it's something. No, no. Cookbooks is actually a good example because what if, I mean, because I'm a reader. I love right, books. Right. And I do digitize now. Now my books, I, most of them that I get that I'll read are Kindle. Okay. Um, although now I'm buying actual books for the baby because obviously, you know, they need to learn how to handle and turn. You, you know, I don't believe in digital books for baby yet. You no, know I mean? me too. So, thousand percent. So there is kind of like a weird... Well, if it's this, then don't do that. But if it's this, then you can digitize. But if it's this, you can, you know, like <laughs> yeah. art books, you yeah. know, uh, my mom and I love beautiful art books and all that kind of stuff. The coffee table things oh. that are all, but yeah. that's clutter that can be concerned and that could, that can become a lot. And, you know, like with my mom, she has a lot of that stuff. She mm. used to love antiques, just chachka. 
Mm-hmm. But like, <laughs> but nice chachka. Right. So you're just like, how do you, you know, justify that? Like, do you know how much? Do you know where I got that? Right. And I you're like, it. God damn it. <laughs> so so it's about that, mm-hmm. right? The one thing I remember with Marie Kondo when we did that, because the for those of you that don't know what she, her philosophy is, you should be able to sit in your house and look at every corner of your house and see beauty and mm. feel relaxation and have ease. Mm-hmm. And she breaks it down per per like um, category: mm-hmm. clothes, yep, shoes. Uh, uh, I mean, you can get small kitchen on stuff, it. drawers, kitchen. like all yeah, the socks. Exactly. She even she has a do socks correctly full yeah, shirts accessories. correctly accessories mm-hmm. and then and the way she, there's a system to doing that like for clothes take every single piece of clothing even the stuff in the attic or whatever and drop it all in one big huge pile in, in an open space i did that my my clothes right i yeah. mean from winter clothing to you know like a summer so all the bathing suits all the snow jackets the ski like all that just all in one because your closet should have should be able to handle all of your clothes all seasons if you're not putting away and taking down and rotating and all that kind of stuff she doesn't think it should all be in one closet Mm -hmm. so go through it and pick up every single this is where everybody made fun of stuff you pick up one piece of clothing and be like does this bring me joy yeah spark and joy yeah Mm -hmm. and i did it it works did it work for you and it worked it works i was really shocked because actually i was looking at stuff going like no. Yeah. All those designer clothes that you were like, do you know I got this at a deal at Ross's and blah, 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 blah. I remember my friend go, yeah, but if it wasn't that, would you keep it and wear it? Good point. And I said, no. Mm-hmm. Go on. Yeah. Like, give the joy to somebody else. Yeah. And, and then as you go through, and it'll take time. It's not over a weekend. It's months. You right. Know? And she says that. She's like, this will take six, seven, eight months, however long it takes you to go through your piles um that's a big one yeah know that when you walk in because when i walk in with people yeah they get really nervous that i'm going to make them get rid of everything yeah. so i just say hey let's break you in let's put a clock on for 30 minutes yeah 45 the most yeah do what you do because it's a very personal intimate thing for right sure. and so i just say let's do the clock then there's a lot of fighting and arguing and but i try not to but you know i'm like you wanted this i'm yeah. not coming in and rampaging your home but i in the beginning instead of them putting in the big pile baby steps I'll have them um, put all the hangers one one way, and then every time they wear a piece of clothing, they'll turn the hanger upside down. Yeah. So that you get to see what you wore. Yeah. And then I'll come back a few months later, whenever we touch base, and then I'll be like, you haven't touched that. When was the last time you wore it? They're like, years. And I'm like, can you release it? And yeah. then they're more, if they can visualize it, sure. they can understand and justify it more. No, that, yeah. that's a good good trick right there. Mm-hmm. I mean, in so many ways too. How many friends do you have? Uh, <laughs> so just my mom, my mom and her friends are like, I mean, I'll go through certain clothes because they were, they're fabulous, right? And so they have fabulous clothes, vintage stuff that they've had since awesome. like the 70s. That's cool. And, first, and you know, and, and that's great. I love going through that and being like, mm, can I have that? Because it fits me. <laughs> Will they me. give it to you? Well, sometimes <laughs> if they are able to let it go. Right. Because I'm like, oh. do they fit into it anymore? No, but they oh. will one day again. Got it. <laughs> I know they're, that they're, well. I just need to lose my 30 pounds mm-hmm. that they've had for. Like, mm-hmm. They've been saying that yeah, for yeah. 20 years. Yes, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah. And then, then all of a sudden they're like, no, but I'll fit it one day. It's mine. And mm-hmm. I'm like, mm-hmm. all right, mm-hmm. cool. Got it. <laughs> Look great it's on me. I don't know if you look good in a mini skirt at seventy, but that's a choice. That's yes. cool. Yeah, yes, you exactly. can still do that. So it's it's the, all that negotiation. How do you deal with that? Uh, the negotiation. Yeah. You you just go slow. You, and you don't fight back. I, I do not fight back. You don't fight back. Nope. I sit there and I just go okay, and then I have to remind them that they asked me to come here for a reason. So mm. kind of going into that of yeah. like. Why did you ask me to come here? Right. Is that make you feel, does it make you feel good to own that? Yeah, but very sentiment. So I, I'll put them in piles. So I'll just say, what well, can you get rid, show me a pile right now. And then they'll fight me. That's when the clock will usually go off after talking, negotiating. And then once they see I'm not fighting them, they'll say, because I don't have a horse in the race. I don't care. No. You yeah. know, like at the end of the day, I'm there to help them. Sure. And it's their, their dime at the end of the day as well. Exactly. So I should probably charge more. <laughs> That's the thing. You'd be <laughs> like, come on, let's make this faster. But it's a very personal, intimate thing. So, um, but yeah, I try to put them all in piles of mm-hmm. kind of like the red stop, the yellow, the green. So kind of like 
putting those down. And um, it's it's cool. very centered about weight loss. And then I find that a lot of people lose weight, weight mm. lose weight because of it, because they're undressing all of the things that are cluttering their mind Mm -hmm. and then they don't feel the need to you know eat emotionally have things around them that make them have triggers and things like that right so that's that's a big one sorry i'm out of breath because i'm real pregnant um (laughs) but um oh and then another thing is the open shelf concept yeah that's a big as you one. See my open shelf. But you know what? But it but as you see the open shelf, this is I, I wanted this pillow and I love this pillow. It's it's like it says, sorry about the mess. We live here. Mm-hmm. Cause you're gonna have stuff that's not perfect. But this is great because at least you're not hiding in the shame and the guilt. Like this is lived in things. There's yeah, people living the house here. here is very lived in. That's what it is. Yeah. But it's when you're hiding things away and storing and like the shame and you the close feeling it and yeah. closing it up and you're like, I don't want people to see that. You know how many people I know that I've walked into their home and like their cars immaculate they look immaculate oh, everything's sure. together and then you walk in their home and it's like who the fuck are you like what <laughs> what, what that does not matter what is going on yeah. like yeah and then they want to fight me i'm like okay like this is not this is not all aligned let's just align it so yeah. but it's fun because i you know what i know i, I know at the it. end of the day it's going to help them. It's going to change them because they come to me for weight loss. Mm-hmm. And that's not why they're there. That's a symptom of what's going on. And right. so then that's the added bonus. And then they go, how'd you do that? I was mm-hmm. like, you did it. You mm-hmm. clear it off tons of weight off of your home. That's your space. Wow. So, yeah. So then that's that's resetting that. So when you did it for your Kitchen's mom, a big one. did it kind of help you a little bit? Because there's a little personal horse in the game there at that point. With my mom? Yeah. I got rid of some stuff, but she kept so much more. It's okay. It was steps and like, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, but did you feel a certain way about it too? With that, with that was a little more personal yeah. because of like I was saying, like, I was like, I've begged you for years, <laughs> like, like so long, like, oh, yeah. and yeah. then, um, and then she just wouldn't. And then finally yeah. the movers had to come and all of that. But thank God, I don't know how she would have done it without me. But the things we found were really cool, but they've been in hiding for so long. Sure. So you can't even display it. And then now they've got a much bigger house. And there was always the line of like, once I can display my things, I'm like, you have too many things to display, even in a 10,000 square foot house. It's yeah. too much. Yeah, so, yeah. but that's her stuff. That's okay. And I'm not one to take stuff and throw it away. Like people will be like no. with other people, they'll be like, oh, just throw it away. I'm like, I don't believe in yeah, that. Yeah, my cousin does that. So, yeah. Yeah, and I know she, if I did do that, and some of my clients, did, they wouldn't, wouldn't notice. Be... But they wouldn't notice, yeah. probably. But I would. It's yeah. not, I want them to do the work. Yeah, it's their work. It's yeah. their stuff. Yeah. yeah. It is. And yeah. it really means a lot to them. Yes. Like, it means a lot. No, I, I completely get Even if get the that. cat is dead under the sofa, they could say goodbye. And <laughs> that's a whole other level. I don't really deal with that. Yeah, but that that's where... Whole, that's where the show... Yeah. That's where the asbestos comes in and stuff. So... Yeah, that's that's a whole other thing. But yeah, but I think that's really with the kitchen. I could, we could talk all day, but just remembering yeah. like what you said earlier. Yeah. When you go in to reset a space or if you want to start this journey and you have a little extra energy, um just put on a timer and know that you're going to go one section at a time. Yeah. You're not going to do your whole house. It's not going to be in a week no. or a month. Mm-hmm. It could it could be a few months, but give yourself kindness yes. and give yourself permission, yes. put things in different piles and see yes. if it makes you happy it being out. Yeah. And I feel like when you do that, because as you grow and as you evolve as a person and stuff, your style changes. I mean, clothing, change, your the whole way you're into changes and stuff. So you can update as you do that regularly, yeah. you know, and I'm, I, I'll, I love negative space. You don't have to hang things up on the wall. However, I, I do know that I do go extreme. Like, I know my husband's just like, You're, the walls are empty. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm okay with that. And, you know, but I think I grew up like that, mm. you know, or, or actually, because I grew up with a lot of designers, architects in my family. So there's a whole thing there. And they're all about modern, negative space. Um, you know, they'll do one big, huge art piece or something. No family pictures, that type of deal. <laughs> and so, you know, there could be more balance to that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I understand that. Um, so... That's, but that's my deal, you know, and, and that's why when you like reset and redo stuff, you kind of have to, it's kind of like an inward look to be like, what do you like? Mm. Is it what your parents like or what you like? Right. You know, because mm-hmm. I know what my mom likes. I definitely, I don't necessarily. Yeah. And then sometimes I do. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, 
And own that. You know, like people, yeah. some of the clients are like, but I really, and I'm like, that is the most in my head. I'm like, that is the hideous thing. I have never fucking seen something so ugly. And they're like, I really love this. And I'm like, okay, then take down two things that, that <laughs> don't, you don't really love and put the one right in the middle that you do love. And then let's work around that yeah. chartreuse color of chaos. Okay. You, let's just work around to each his own, but it makes them happy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. And you have to look at it. I'm not living with them. I'm just there to facilitate. So, and be that person. That's what I would say. You can't always hire an expert to come in, but be kind, patient with that person that needs help. You yes. know, really yes. have some empathy, have some kindness and just say, I'll give you two hours of my time. If it's not constructive, you can leave, give yes. them the time or let them do it themselves. But sometimes just having a muse helps a lot. Just having someone sit there and just like help you weed through things Sound like board. excess paper, yeah, fully. shit you just don't need. And then if you really are conservative about money and things like that, I appreciate that all day. So you can take old papers like these, I'll repurpose them and then cut that. My mom does this a lot. And I'm like, let's get rid of the paper. But she'll cut them up yes. in chunks and make them notepads. notepads. Perfect. Yeah, but then you but end up with like them. piles and piles of notepads. Well, then make little notes nonstop. Okay, I don't care what you do, but at least you didn't throw I've them away. I've seen that is what I'm saying because yeah. I do that and then I'll just find piles and piles of like just <laughs> the little of paper everywhere. And I'm like, <laughs> right. So yeah. recycle them. Yeah, yeah. And be mindful. Yes. But besides that, just start one space at a time. Walk through your house and say, "I I'm done with the, I'm done with that corner right yes. there. Start there. Yes. Yeah, and try to do it sober because I know people that do it drunk oh. and then get real mad because <laughs> it's like, bro, like they just get real mad. And I'm like, okay, you're taking it out on that section right there. And there's a hole in your wall. You just thought you could like redo your whole wall of construction one night. Okay, let's not do that. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. It's like Hemingway say, right. Write drunk, edit sober. Yes. Don't do that with resetting. That Just try not to do that. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be like present. I know people jumping in the trash the next day, like after throwing things away. They're like, well, you told me. I'm like, not when you were wasted and forgot that you threw away an heirloom that was really all your happy pills at right. the same time. Right. Like, what? Be mindful. <laughs> be mindful in your mind. Yeah. That's what I would say. So, yeah. So I hope that helps. Yeah. Just like each room and... I'm I'm a nut about it. Again, the reset plan wrote it. And if you want to lose weight, start with your home. Reset yes. your mind, your space, and then your body will follow. So don't just start with the weight because that's too much anxiety. Start with where you're living. And, yeah. And we pay a lot to live. We pay a lot. So Especially why here in Los Angeles. So yeah. it's like, really yeah. respect that. And Marie Kondo, you know, she small spaces in Asia and all that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just respect your space and how much you're paying for it and get rid of the things that aren't paying you to live there. You yeah. know what I mean? That's yeah, not giving back occupying to you. space. Yeah. Yeah. Think of it like that. Raw talk. Not food.